After unpacking the cover, we got the gateway main body. Then there's a little box in the bottom. Inside, we can find power cable, screws, the holder, internet cable, and antenna. And we can install the antenna with hub quite simple. For active hub, you can just plug in the Ethernet cable and power adapter. First, we need to confirm the TripStack server is correctly installed and configured. There are several files to be checked. First is the Docker Compose env.yml file. Make sure the band frequency and the port are the right one for you to use. For band frequency, you could check the Chirp Stack network server file. Confirm the frequency is correct. Then, you could type in sudo docker compose app command to start the chirp stack server. And from the log, it can be seen the server is initiated normally. Type in the chirp stack IP in browser to log in the network. After logging, the first step is to create a network server. Fill an arbitrary server name. Then fill in chirp stack network server colon 8000 as a network server. The second step is to create a service profile. Fill in a random service name and choose the server we created just now. The third step is to create a device profile. Fill in the device name, choose the NS we created just now, and choose the LoRaWAN version as 1.0.2. And click on device support OTAA. Then we can create a gateway based on the steps we carried out above. First, fill in the name, then acquire device EUI from gateway itself. Choose the network server, service profile we created just now. And the gateway is created successfully. Fill in the server address, gateway EUI and the server port in gateway, and click save and apply.
Wait for some time until the gateway appears to be connected in TripStack server. It can be seen the gateway is correctly added. Thank you.